Does the rosary seem like a bunch of empty prayers? Do you want to learn how to pray the rosary better and what the mysteries are? All this and more coming up next. Hey everyone, we're Drew and Katie Taylor, and on this channel, we're passionate about helping you reach new heights through living awesome Catholic lives. If you're new here, hit subscribe and check out the links in the description for great Catholic resources. St. John Paul II once said, the rosary is my favorite prayer, a marvelous prayer, marvelous in its simplicity and its depth. Well, we've done a couple videos on making the rosary simple because let's face it, when you first start off praying the rosary, it's not simple. So check out our videos on how to pray the rosary and what the words are and what they mean as we break down some of the prayers. But in this, rose, in this video about the rosary, we specifically want to dive into making it a deep meditative conversation with Christ and how we do that. So one of the best ways that we've found you've been able to do that is to really meditate on the mysteries of the rosary. So as you're praying the rosary, the church has given us uh, four sets of mysteries that are all about the life of Christ that we can really dive deep as we are praying through the rosary. So these are 20 scripture passages, 20 key points in the life of Christ, in the life of salvation history. They allow us to develop a relationship with Christ through Mary by using these as we pray those decades, as we pray those 10 Hail Marys, to dive in deeper to that relationship. And so to enter into almost an Ignatius spirituality of the gospel reflections of putting ourselves in those mysteries. And so the first set that we can use are called the joyful mysteries. And they really reflect on the early life of Christ. So the first one is the Annunciation where Angel Gabriel comes and visits Mary and asks her to be the mother of our Lord. Second is the visitation when Mary goes and visits Elizabeth. Third is the birth of Jesus Christ to the nativity. Fourth is the presentation of Jesus in the temple. And fifth is the finding of Jesus in the temple, not losing because it's joyful. And traditionally, uh, we say the joyful mysteries on Monday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, I always can remember that the joyful mysteries are on Monday because it's Monday and I want to be sad, but I can't because we say the joyful mysteries. However, on Tuesday, Tuesday <laughs> we traditionally say the sorrowful mysteries. So that's gonna be Tuesday and Friday, which really focus on the agony and death of Jesus. So that is gonna start off with number one, the agony in the garden, number two, the scourging of the pillar, number three, the crowning of thorns, number four, the carrying of the cross, and then number five, the crucifixion and death of Christ. Next, we're going to talk about the glorious mysteries, which are traditionally prayed on Wednesday and on Sunday. So it's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. His ascension is second uh, into heaven. Third is Pentecost or the coming of the Holy Spirit. Fourth, we reflect on the assumption of Mary, body and soul into heaven. And fifth, we reflect on her, the crowning of Mary as queen of heaven and earth. And then the last set is going to be the Luminous Mysteries, which uh, is traditionally said on Thursday, which is the day we have left. So the Luminous Mysteries are going to really focus on the later life of Christ and his ministry. So that's going to be number one, the baptism in the River Jordan. Number two is going to be the wedding feast at Cana. Number three is going to be the proclamation of the kingdom of heaven. Number four is going to be the transfiguration. And then the fifth and last one is going to be the institution of the Eucharist. So we'll make sure to put all the scripture references for these uh, mysteries in the description. So go ahead and check those out. And we challenge you after this to pray your rosary by first starting and reflecting on that scripture passage and then diving into the decade. And so this is called a scriptorial rosary. We'll put a great book in uh, the links as well. And then you can also just YouTube a scriptorial rosary and pray along with that, but using this to dive in to scripture, to enter in to allowing that to be a part of your personal prayer life. So question of the day, what's your favorite mystery? Go ahead and leave a comment because some of the best discussion and learning happens in the comments below. So if you found value in this video, please hit like, uh, subscribe to the channel so you can continue to get new resources and know that we are praying for you until next time. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like the video, then hit subscribe. It helps us get the word out to everyone. Love you. <laughs> I'm praying for you.
We are praying for you.